Yo, welcome to the history of perfume, where you're gonna get a whiff of everything you need to know about perfume. Let's do it. Let's have fun. Today, we're talking history, and a lot has happened between the release of the new Pure Excess and the dawn of humanity. To find out what, we've borrowed Paco Rabanne's amazing, amazing super, super amazing, amazing time, time machine. Woo! Let's go. First stop. Ancient Egypt. Contrary to popular belief, the Egyptians didn't invent perfume. Women used fragrance from little flowers in their hair and made eau de toilette from the animal fat and the natural oils in the flowers. Yeah, hey funky lady. Yeah, you walk like an Egyptian. Do it, girl. But if we're talking perfume, next up, Arabia. That's because the Arabs invented loads of distillation techniques and invented the alembic. Lots of Tuareg tribesmen were hard at work transporting jars that look a lot like shisha pipes. <laughs> Pass it over here, bro. Third stop, the, the Middle Ages. I don't get why people say the Middle Ages were backwards, backwards, ugly, and filthy. Because that's not true at all. People in the Middle Ages washed plenty, plenty. As it happens, the first perfume containing alcohol was made for the Queen of Hungary. And the Queen of Hungary was a bit like the era's Emirata. Welcome to my home. Do you want to access? Next stop, the, the reign, reign of, of Louis XIV, where perfume is out of control. Now, Courtiers didn't wash very often, but they used bucket loads of the smell good. Back then, doctors thought that water helped spread all kinds of germs and diseases. So, so they splashed perfume everywhere. everywhere! On the gloves, clothes, wigs, so much that the royal court was known as the Court Parfumé. Welcome, Welcome to the Industrial Revolution, where things get serious. Bria Savarin invented the vaporizer, and everyone could have a little vial of perfume at home. And that paved the way for the big names in fashion, like Monsieur Paul Poiret, and brought perfume to, to the, the mainstream. mainstream. And since then, I'm gonna rush a bit. First, there was war. Not cool. War, war everywhere. everywhere. Then the war ended. Everything's cool. Then more war. Armistice, peace, tranquility, the Beatles. And after that came the hippies. Patchouli became the world's favorite leaf and fragrance. Some of those hippies even smoked it. <clears throat> you know. And at long last, the great yeah. Paco Rabanne got into the perfume business. And because he knew all this story by heart, he created powerful original perfumes, including one which was an international bestseller. After that, loads of perfumey things happen. Perfume, perfume fashion, 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 perfume, 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 until we get to the last stop. Now, we're already out of time, but if you want to know more, then, then catch, catch us in our next episode. episode. <laughs>